have secured enough jurors for the exercise of peremptory challenges. We will plan on that occurring Monday morning. The fifth day of jury selection in Chad Daybell's murder trial ended a few hours ago, and attorneys are one step closer to seating the jury who will decide Daybell's fate. Welcome to the News at Four. I'm Brenda Rodriguez. And I'm Joe Paris. Chad Daybell, as you may recall, he's accused of killing and conspiring to kill his first wife, Tammy Daybell, along with two of his current wife, Lori Vallow Daybell's children, Tylee Ryan and JJ Vallow. And our Morgan Romero sat in the courtroom this morning as jury selection went on. She gives us the latest from the Ada County Courthouse. Since Monday morning, the judge, prosecution and defense worked to whittle the pool down from thousands to 57 potential jurors who will move on to the next round. We know that next round of jury selection will begin Monday. Attorneys needed 50 jurors before moving on to the peremptory challenge phase. That's where they can dismiss someone without explanation as long as it's constitutional. Five people were added from today's panel of 14. Because they hit 50 prospective jurors yesterday, which is the number that they originally said they needed, we expected peremptory challenges to begin this morning. So I asked criminal defense attorney Dave Leroy, who has no connection to this case, why they were still questioning new potential jurors. Leroy told me the judge probably wants a buffer. While questioning the final panel today as a group and individually, the judge, prosecution and defense use the same line of questioning they've used all week. They asked about any emotional and financial hardship caused by a 10 week trial, bias for or against Daybell, what they know about the case from the media, whether they're open to imposing the death penalty if they find Daybell guilty and their understanding of the conspiracy charges. If you have person A, B, and C, and only person C doesn't act, are you okay still holding person A and B accountable pursuant to the instruction given? Anyone have concerns with that? Does anybody believe that Chad needs to testify to prove that he's uh, innocent? Does everybody understand that any defendant in any criminal case does not need to take the stand and you, can, and you should not hold it against her. Is anybody going to hold it against Chad if he decides he just doesn't want to talk about this? All 57 prospective jurors need to be physically at the courthouse for peremptory challenges, which Judge Boyce says will begin Monday morning at 10 a.m. Ultimately, the prosecution and defense need to whittle the pool down to a total of 18, 12 jurors and six alternates. Once that happens, opening statements will begin. We anticipate those being early next week. Back to you.